The next chapter that we'll be starting with under systemic pathology is the hepatobiliary system. Now this includes a lot of integration that is needed with medicine. At the same time, there is uh, off lately been a lot of updates that have come up in this chapter. So we need to deal with all the old and the new stuff. So let's get going right away. Okay, so the first thing that we need to know is as we always do, we start with our basics and we'll start with liver as a functional unit. So we all know that when we talk about liver as a functional unit, we have this hexagonal lobule that we always draw. That is what we always consider, right? The hexagonal lobule and that is known as the functional unit of the liver. Now having said that, if we talk about what is in the center, right in the center of this we have the central vein. I think everyone is aware of that. And at the peripheries we have the portal triad. We have the portal triad at the peripheries. So repeating, in the center we have the central vein and at the peripheries we have the portal triad. Now having said that, we also need to know what is in between the two. So in between when we highlight, we have these cords of hepatocytes. We have the cords of hepatocytes which are running in this manner. So they are not in any sheet or anything, we define it as cords. That's the exact word that is used. Cords of hepatocytes. Okay, so having said that, now what else do these, I'll draw more hepatocytes. Do these hepatocytes also need a blood supply? Of course. So do they have sinusoids in between them? Correct. So there's something very important called sinusoids. So we label these as the sinusoids. So now I realize that one end of it is the, the hepatocyte. The other end of it is the sinusoid. But there's a space in between. I can certainly see that there is a space, tiny little space that is coming up here in between. So this is the space that I want to highlight. And what is this known as? This is known as the space of DC. So if they ask us in the exam that what is the space of DC or what is the space of DC present between, remember it's one end having the cord of hepatocytes and the other end is going to have the sinusoid. So let's repeat the space of DC and its particular definition. So space of DC is going to be present between the cords of hepatocytes. That's a question that students are always a little perplexed about cords of hepatocytes and the other end of it is going to have the sinusoids. So what is the significance? Why am I laying so much of emphasis on this space of DC? Because I hope you all remember from your general path that this is the first space of amyloid deposition. Amyloid in the liver deposits in the very first go in the space of DC. Versus, is there any cell that is present in this space? There is something called itocell or stellate cell. Now, there's a very common doubt which I get from the students and that is, are ito and stellate cells the same things? Uh, so, I'll say that um, I say yes, my answer is yes, but what is the difference then? See, I'll give you an example of you only, of all of us actually. Uh, how do we behave when our exam is one year away versus how do we behave when our exam is one week or one day away? We become two different kind of people, right? So when the exam is one year away, we definitely try to be a little more relaxed. We try to watch uh, social media, Netflix, all the other things that we try to have our own recreational activities. But when the exam is the next day, tomorrow, I will be very, very obviously a little anxious. I would not want to, uh, you know, chit chat or gossip or go out for a movie. I'll obviously be all into my textbooks and revising things in a very hyperactive mode, correct? That is the difference between itocell and stellate cell. They are the same people but in different situations. So itocell is said to be the sleeping version of that cell. It's the resting state of the cell. What do you do when you are resting? You sleep and eat. Eating and sleeping, best hobbies of life. So resting state means this is the itocell. And what is it going to eat? It is going to do all the vitamin A storage for all of us. So that's a question that comes. All the vitamin A storage is done in the itocell. After that, the next question is that when it becomes active, you one day before the exam, when it becomes active, what is it going to do? It is then going to lay down collagen. It is going to lay down collagen and to be very, very precise, collagen 1 and 3, that has been a question. Which collagen is laid down by the stellate cell? It's collagen 1 and 3. So, for example, if this is the liver, 
and for example this is all the collagen that has been laid down this is all the collagen that has been laid down like this so what has happened because of all this collagen can i say the liver has been divided into these nodules it has been divided into nodules what condition is this this is cirrhosis when the liver is divided into nodules i call it cirrhosis so let's do a recap what happens in cirrhosis in cirrhosis there's a lot of collagen that is laying down which collagen is laying down type 1 and 3 collagen are laying down who is laying down that collagen it is going to be the stellate cell it's the active version of that cell and the same cell when it goes off to sleep i call it an ito cell and during its sleep time it's going to store eat a lot of things it's going to store a lot of vitamin a so that's the significance of the space of deceit first place where amyloid gets deposited second is the presence of ito or stellate cell